This is a KGUN 9 On Your Side news update. This we've been following for years, and later this afternoon, a judge will meet with the family of a Tucson woman who was killed seven years ago. Well, police say Jenna Ayup was shot by her boyfriend, Ronald Corbin, and died. Corbin is expected to change his plea sometime next month. Nine on your side's Veronica Vernaccio has more on what today's meeting could mean for that case. Mark Whitney, good morning. This afternoon at 4 p.m., Heather Picard, Jenna Ayup's older sister, says that her and the family will be coming here to the Pima County Superior Court to speak with a judge, and the family could learn a date as to when the change of plea will happen next month. Now, all of this comes after Heather Picard says the county attorney is offering Ronald Corbin, the man accused of killing Jenna, a plea deal. Corbin is facing manslaughter for the death of his girlfriend, Jenna Ayup. Police say in 2012, Corbin told them he accidentally shot her while cleaning his gun. It was determined to be an accident until the Pima County Attorney's Office reopened the case last year. And we'll have more tonight after the victim advocates speak to the judge and nine of your sides, Natalie Taryn Joy, will also have more from the mother. But for now, reporting at the Pima County Superior Court, Veronica Bonaccio, okay, good nine on your side. All right, Veronica, thank you. Tucson police say they're investigating a shooting that happened at a party Saturday night. Two people were hurt. It happened just south of the University of Arizona. TPD says uninvited guests fired multiple rounds and they hit a man and a woman. Nobody's in custody and the suspects haven't been caught. Tucson police have identified the man who died after a crash involving a motorcycle and a Jeep on Saturday. His name is Benjamin Secor. Tucson police say he was making a left turn onto 22nd Street from Houghton when a Jeep hit his motorcycle. The 43 year old died at the scene. We're taking a look at some of the numbers for you this morning when it comes to traffic accidents. 53 people have died on Tucson Road so far this year. That's according to TPD. Vehicle deaths are down, but the latest numbers from Tucson Police show that motorcycle death deaths are up. Eight people have died compared to five at this time last year. The U.S. Supreme Court starts a new term today, and it's got a lot to take up. The nation's highest court is set to hear cases involving DACA, abortion, the Second Amendment, and LGBTQ rights. Beginning this week, the justices will consider the first civil rights case concerning transgender people that the Supreme Court has never heard. Democratic presidential candidate Beto O'Rourke made a stop in Tucson yesterday to talk to supporters about issues like gun violence and immigration. O'Rourke's campaign says he is the first Democratic candidate to visit Arizona on the 2020 stump. Well, today is the deadline to register to vote in Pima County and the city of Tucson's November elections. Select Pima County school districts in the election will be Sunnyside, Flowing Wells, Amphi and Alter Valley. Golder Ranch Fire District will also be on the ballot as well. General election is on Tuesday, November 5th. Decent morning out there. April Madison's joining us now with a look at our forecast for today. April, good morning. Good morning to you. Yeah, it's uh, starting to warm up already. We're at about 64 degrees. We briefly dipped to the low 60s, so it's still pretty nice out there. We've got mild winds for now, but I would say probably right around 9 or 10 o'clock this morning, we could see it starting to get a little bit breezy, anywhere between maybe 10 and 16 or 17 miles per hour, but it'll be brief and start to die down already as early as noon. So just a little bit of gust here and there, possibly through the late morning hours. Otherwise, it is going to be a very warm start to the week, unseasonably warm. Our average is right about 87 to 88. And as you can see, it'll be Thursday before we get to that. But strong winds blowing in on Wednesday, and that is the reason why we anticipate this cool down. Look what's going to happen between today and Friday, dropping between 10 and 12 degrees, which means overnight lows also going to drop down into the mid 50s to start the day, both Friday and Saturday. Looks like We'll get to hold on to some sunshine and cooler temps, 80s for the weekend.